Hello everybody, this is John and Victoria from Day One Personal Training, and we're continuing our look at Tough Mudder Training Alternatives. Uh, today what I'd like to do is sort of a combo on obstacles. One is a look at the Swamp Stomp, uh, and the other is a look at uh, an obstacle that doesn't really have a name on the Tough Mudder website, but it's basically um, descending mud hills. And depending on your event location, uh, they'll be bigger, larger, um, some they may not have them, but the Swamp Stomp, you can be assured, will be there. And the Swamp Stomp, for those of you not familiar with it, is basically what the name implies. It's a stomp through the swamp, very, very long distance. Um, again, depending on your event location, that distance may vary some a bit, but um, a good football field length stomping through the swamp. So you've got um, thigh to waist high deep water, um, with mud uh, trudges and hills uh, throughout the course. So sometimes the mud's up to your knees, if not thigh high itself. So it's very hip flexor intensive, um, if nothing else. And one look at the Tough Mudder website and their training preparation program, you'll find that they have you preparing for this event with side lunges. And unfortunately, that's not gonna get the job done with regards to specificity in our program if that's what we're going for, to be as best prepared as we can. So what we're gonna do today is take a page out of our partner training video series, and specifically the resistance band module, and kill two birds with one stone, okay? Um, it also has the added benefit uh, in partner training of being not only fun, but kind of hitting upon the spirit of the tough mud of the essence and it's no you know leave no man behind and camaraderie and working together to finish the event and not really competing for best time per se so as much as we can do that in the training to sort of build a better bond stronger bond form a little bit more tribe the more fun we're going to have and again the more in line with the spirit of the mud it will be so let's take a look now even though this is a band resistance exercise we're going to start it off without the use of the bands just to get the technique down because there's two components to this movement. First component is a mountain climber. Okay, this is specifically preparing us for the swamp stop and is very hip flexor intensive. The second component, which Victoria is going to be doing, is a dancer feet shuffle from the athletic position. Now, even though without the use of the bands, it's kind of a nothing movement with regards to resistance. Um, once we add in the bands and the pull to simulate the mud and the hill and the slope and the slipperiness, uh, her glutes and her hamstrings are going to be on fire, okay? Um, same can be said once we add in the bands for the mountain climber. Um, so, mountain climber, first what we're going to do is start off in a plank position, hands shoulder width apart, fall right underneath your shoulders, the shoulders roll back and down, your spine is nice and long from crown to coccyx. Kick your legs straight back, and you want to get as stiff as a board. So the tailbone tucks under slightly to engage the core, squeeze the glutes, lock the thighs, push the heels back towards the back wall. Hands are going to scrub forward or, or mimic the scrubbing forward action on the ground, even though they're not going to move, while the heels kick backwards. This is going to create a lock and lock down the plank position. Now, once we're up here, what we do not want to do is bounce. Okay, we don't want a bouncy mountain climber. We want a tight, locked down, hip flexor intensive mountain climber. So to do that from our plank position, okay, we're gonna draw up from the hip flexor, bringing the knee towards the belly, staying long, staying tight, reestablish plank position before switching legs. Exhale. Okay, and what Victoria is doing, she's going to get an athletic stance, spine's nice and long, feet are roughly shoulder width apart, okay, and she's going to shuffle forward, backwards, and again, it doesn't look like much right now, but once the band is counter pulling with the action from my mountain climber, very, very glute hamstring dominant exercise. 